Well, chasing the dragon is the term addicts use to describe seeking that next high. And authorities are seeing more and more of that with meth. They fear this powerful and dangerous drug could lead to a new wave of addiction and a public health hazard. Action News' Matt O'Donnell explains why in this special report. Allentown native Ghassan Dawood runs a successful construction company. He has a fiance and two children, and he has been off drugs since January 13th, 2018. I get up every day and I realize that I have another chance at life. Five years ago, I didn't think I had that chance. Six years ago, I didn't want that chance. Ghassan, abandoned by his father and torn from his mother, spent his childhood bouncing around foster homes. Abusing a variety of substances helped him deal with his anguish. Then he tried methamphetamine. Of course, the meth was just a whole lot cheaper. Um, the high lasted longer. It just did everything I wanted it to do. It numbed all of the feelings and emotions. It took away all the negative thoughts. In a country that is still recovering from an opioid crisis, law enforcers are starting to see the emergence of super-powered versions of meth. They believe 95% of it is produced in super labs in Mexico. Dealers find the psychostimulant more profitable and easier to distribute. Users are getting a quicker, more robust high, and that potency is killing people. What we're seeing is very pure crystal meth um, that is coming from south of the border. Um, it is um, very inexpensive. Uh, it is very pure and it is very deadly. Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele points out Narcan, used to revive people from opioids, is not an option with meth. If somebody is high and overdoses on that, that's not going to help them. What does? Nothing. This private company in Montgomery County analyzes drug samples from crime scenes, from drug seizures, from drug overdoses from across the country. And because of all the massive data that it accumulates, it allows NMS labs to see trends in the substance abuse problem that may not necessarily be apparent. The American Medical Association says deaths from psychostimulants like meth increased by 250 percent between 2008 and 2015. NMS labs in Horsham saw meth overdoses in PA surge higher after the COVID pandemic began. Each of these spikes represents a different chemical substance. NMS founder Barry Logan says the state is now seeing between 60 and 100 meth deaths per month. Then there is the public danger. With more prolonged use, uh, it can cause that, uh, it can turn into paranoia, which often leads to uh, uh, violence or more aggressive kinds of behaviors that obviously impacts other people. Oh, he's awesome, man. Gassan credits Montgomery County's drug treatment court led by Judge Stephen O'Neill and the specialists at PROACT, a recovery center in Norristown, with saving his life. This is a way better high. I'm still chasing a high. Gassan says he fights his addiction every day. He admits he cannot fight it alone and wonders if that may be the key to cutting off the endless supply of drugs by treating the addict and reducing the demand. But this is my high. My high is success. Matt O'Donnell, Channel 6 Action News. And you can hear more from Gassan as he describes his descent into addiction and how the court system and counselors helped him out. Just go to our 6ABC streaming app to view his entire story.